your visa is stuck in administrative processing. It's been delayed. You've been told you can't get a visa because of something called 221G and your visa is delayed and you're frustrated. Is there anything you can do on your own to make this go faster? Hi, my name is Josh Goldstein and I'm an immigration lawyer and I help families across the country and around the world get their visas out of administrative processing. So, you're in administrative processing. What can you do about it? There are normally a few different things that people do to try to fix administrative processing before they contact me. And the first thing that they do is they try to communicate with the consulate. They go through the consulate's website tool, they send an email or an inquiry through the system, and they inquire as to the status of their application. What's going on with my case? How long is this going to take? Is there anything that I can do? Do you need documents? Do you need information? Is there anything that I can do to help? They do that, and usually, if they get any response at all, it's usually not very helpful. They usually, the consulate sends a boilerplate response that says, don't contact us, or there's no set time limit for how long administrative processing can take. Or maybe they say it's going to take 60 to 90 days or 120 days. Or, they, you know, it's just a boilerplate response. It has nothing to do with your particular case. They're basically not communicating with you in any meaningful way. The second thing that people do is they contact their U.S. senator or their congressional representative. And they say, hey, um, I was a student at the University of Michigan and my visa is delayed and is there anything that you can do to help me? Uh, and then what the politician does, they have an office, they have a uh, person within their staff usually who's called a congressional, uh, co uh, constituent services and they have an immigration point person. And what that person will do is that person will make an inquiry on your behalf with the agency, okay? And then what happens within 30 or 60 or 90 days, the agency, the State Department, the consulate or USCIS will respond and they'll say, we've received your inquiry and we've investigated the nature of your visa delay. And according to our background check, um, the visa is an administrative processing and it will be resolved within a certain period of time. So basically, you're going to get a form letter back. And that form letter is going to give you no meaningful information whatsoever. So contacting the consulate is usually a waste of time. And contacting a U.S. senator is usually a waste of time. The third thing that people do is they just wait. You take your hands, you sit on them, and you just wait. You don't know how long you're going to have to wait. You don't know why you have to wait. You're just waiting. Maybe the administrative processing for your visa will be cleared up within 30 days, within 60 days, within 90 days, within six months. Who knows how long it's going to take? People come to me after they've been waiting for years. For years their visas are stuck. We're able to get them approved very quickly usually. Usually most cases that we work on we can get approved in six to 12 weeks. But people come to us after everything that they've done hasn't worked. They've tried everything and nothing else works. And it's only at that point when they, they basically give up and they reach an understanding that waiting is not going to solve it, inquiries with the consulate is not going to solve the delay, and neither is uh, additional processing time. Nothing will solve the delay. And so at that point, that's when they reach out to me. People contact me and they have me help them get out of administrative processing when nothing else works they have reached a level of frustration where they just can't take additional waiting. They cannot take an additional email or letter telling them that they're stuck. They have given up, they're frustrated, they're mad, and it's at that point where we get involved. And we can get people approved, in most cases, in six to 12 weeks. If you're stuck in administrative processing, if you're frustrated and you're tired of waiting for your visa to be processed, if you can't take it anymore, I want you to contact me. Let me know if you need help. If you have questions about administrative processing or visa delays, please reach out to me. Happy to help. Happy to answer your questions. Thanks.